Okay, so we have just done two days hiking on the Appalachian Trail and we started at Springer Mountain in Georgia, which is the technically the official start of the southernmost uh, point of the Appalachian Trail. Uh, and then we hiked for a couple of days and I wanted to just do a quick video kind of uh, sharing some of the things that we learned and give you five tips to think about as first timers on the Appalachian Trail or for anybody that's coming on the Appalachian Trail for that matter. Uh, the first thing I would say is it is definitely tougher than what you think it might be. Okay, uh, it's definitely when you're dealing with mountains. All right, so definitely plan plan ahead. Make sure that you've got your maps. Make sure you do your research on where your where the campgrounds are, where the shelters are, uh, where the water sources are, because. And that also leads me into number two, making sure you carry with you a good water filtration system because it's not like you're just stopping at a restroom and filling up your water bottles from a, a faucet. You are literally getting your water from the streams and then running it through your filter and making sure you've got clean water. I would also make sure you pack uh, blister pads because we uh, experienced just within the first several miles a couple of blisters and uh, we thought we had packed them, checked our bags and we didn't. So on that, make sure you double check all your packing before you uh, set off and make sure you've got exactly what you wanted. Number four, I would say make sure how you've got a really good uh, sleeping mat, all right, because the ground, as you can see from here, um, it's relatively flat but there are rocks and it can be pretty uncomfortable in those campgrounds so if you're not in one of the the shelters and you're going to be on the floor use a good um, air mattress we found a fantastic one on amazon that's actually got a pump system into it so you're not having to carry your pump with you and that was just an absolute lifesaver it was fantastic it was a few inches off the ground as well so you're not really feeling the cold coming up from the earth uh, so i definitely recommend that okay and then number five uh, again having spent two nights out here now we're in may so anything before this i definitely encourage it but make sure you've got layers okay because uh, you build up a lot of heat during the day when you're actually hiking but in the evening you are going to get cold and the temperatures up here do drop okay so make sure you've got layers uh, maybe your long johns a couple of pairs of pants um, like for example last night i actually had five layers on i had a, an underlayer on my skin then I had a couple of t-shirts, a, a sweatshirt, and then I had this coat on it. And then I was in my sleeping bag and it was perfect. I had a nice toasty night and it was very comfortable. So the next morning you can get up and off you go. So that's just five tips with a few little extras in there um, for you to be thinking about as first timers on the Appalachian Trail. If you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments below and let us know also in the comments any uh, tips that you would give first timers on the Appalachian Trail, what do they need to be thinking about, what equipment they might need to be thinking about for a successful trip. Okay, as always, happy travels.